So classroom learning has a large impact on students, especially when students are uh, looking to make real world connections to what they're learning in the classroom. So students in my class in particular participate in a wide variety of experience for learning opportunities. Uh, they're able to present projects as well. So when we're learning inside of the classroom, uh, it just allows students a, a great opportunity to be among other scholars and like-minded learners as well. So integrating culturally relevant instruction uh, increases motivation, engagement, and morale in my classroom uh, by creating an inviting and comfortable learning space in my classroom. And it also gives students an opportunity to share their expertise on a topic that's relevant to their daily life and their daily community. Students feel seen in the classroom and they also feel included in the conversation. And uh, the students in my class are a lot more engaged in the instruction when they can make those connections of between what's going on in the classroom and what's going on in the real world. Uh, for instance, when students in my class um, noticed that there was pollution in a nearby creek, we went outside and studied what was going on at the creek. We picked up pollution and it really allowed students to see how what we were learning in the classroom connects to their daily life, which in turn has made a lot of them into lifelong learners, which is our ultimate goal. Social justice science teaching is really about uh, empowering students to see the value of the science content. I think one of the things, uh, the misnomer is that it has to be about social scientific issues, and, and that's certainly one way to do it. But simple things like thinking about mitosis, thinking about cellular structure, you can understand the content and then understand how the content plays out in the world beyond. So when you think about mitosis, you want to empower students to think about, all right, what's going on with cancer? But it's in those moments, in those explanatory moments where students get, get to apply what they know, now we can talk about bigger social issues. So what groups of people are getting cancer and what are those causes? And so the, a simple study of a concept like mitosis can give the students a lens to explain far more than the concept. So when educators use social justice practices in teaching science, it literally gives the students a new way of viewing, viewing the world. Uh, we, we were doing work in the past few years with virtual reality and using the technology to, to literally show students when you walk outside your door, you are seeing science in practice, both in a conceptual form and a social justice form. So for example, if you learn about food change and healthy dietary habits, and we, we teach you the basis of macromolecules, if we drive through your neighborhood and you, in your neighborhood, you're seeing there's a food desert. We don't have access to fresh fruits and vegetables, but there's a dialysis center uh, and, and every other block right next to the fast food chains is now I want you to see that differently. I want you to walk through the world, see the content, and then to see the social uh, manifestations of it. And you don't need to be a solution oriented. I want you to put the kids in the game, allow the students to, to have a voice to explain what's going on as they're learning the content. And then you never have to ask the kids, well, why is science important? Because they're doing it as a part of their, their classroom experiences.